What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, we're talking fishing rods. My top five fishing rods that every bass angler needs. From beginner to advanced, these top five rods, powers and actions that you need to have in your arsenal. Let's go. The first thing to understand about fishing rods is there is action and power. The best way to describe that, action is your rod tip, right? How fast, extra fast, or moderate does that tip move? So like on a drop shot where you want a real tippy bait, something you can just sit there and shake the tip, you want a faster and extra fast. Whereas a crankbait, you want a slower, oh, sorry guys, a slower action, right? You don't want that rod to uh, load and unload when those fish come up and jump to, to spit those hooks. So understand that action has to do with the rod tip and then power has to do with the actual power of the rod. So there's medium power, medium heavy, heavy, right? So the heavier you get, the bigger the baits you can throw, the bigger you fish you can, I mean, you can catch fish on a light, light rod as well, but you're gonna have more power, more backbone right here in the rod in a heavier power rod. So hopefully that makes sense. Understand the difference between action and power. So you might have a extra fast action heavy power rod. So understand what that means, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, when I was doing this, pulling rods for this video, understand that we have a wide range of anglers that watch this channel. We have guys that are just learning how to fish, just getting into bass fishing, all the way up to touring pros and elite series anglers. So a very vast, uh, very wide range of, of viewers so we take that into consideration. So as we get, or as you get farther along in your bass fishing, whatever, experience, uh, knowledge level, knowledge base, career, you're going to get away from rods that can do a lot of things okay or well, and you're gonna get into technique specific rods where you're going to have a rod specifically for a drop shot. You're gonna have a rod specifically for a jerk bait and a crank bait and a top water and a glide bait and a jig, right? You're gonna have those technique specific rods that have the perfect action and the right power to fish those baits to their maximum potential. But for today's video, top five that will do a lot of things really well, a lot of techniques really well. Okay, so I have, when I broke this down, basically have two spinning and three bait casting. Got the sun setting right in the face, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Got a little bit of wind, but uh, as you grow your arsenal, as you grow as a fisherman, you're gonna branch out and you're gonna get I laugh because I don't, I don't know. I always get made fun of with the amount of rods I have in the rod locker. But, uh, you know, just understand that both Matt and I, I can't speak for him, but myself, I started with one rod. It was an ugly stick. And then I got a Fenwick and then I got a Shimano and I just worked my way up. I started in a float tube and then a 12 foot aluminum and then a 14 foot aluminum boat and then a bass tracker and then a champion and, and then a Skeeter, right? So I've worked my way up along the way many decades of fishing, I've built my arsenal, I've built my rod locker, I've built those technique specific rods. So wherever you are in your career or your, your arsenal building, this should help you. But if you're just getting started and you want one rod that can do it all, I'm going with a seven foot medium power rod, medium power, you can throw wacky rig stick baits, you could throw Nico rigs, you could throw small jigs, you could even throw light top waters on it. It's a super universal rod and I went with a spinning rod because it's gonna take some time 
to learn how to throw a bait caster, but having a spinning rod in that medium power, it's ultra versatile, okay? Like I said, you can throw your light stick baits, you can throw heavier drop shots, light Carolina rigs, light Texas rigs, small topwaters, small swim baits. So if you're a guy that's just getting in and you need to buy your first rod, look for a seven foot to a seven foot two medium power rod. Now you can go with a fast action or an extra fast action. That Again, that's just the tip. That's how fast that, that tip shakes, right? But the seven foot to seven foot two medium power rod is ideal for you. It's super universal. You could hand it to your kid. You could hand it to your loved one, your wife, your girlfriend, uh, your buddy who doesn't, hasn't fished before, and they can cast all those baits. And more importantly, when they hook those fish on those baits, having that backbone and that medium power will get those fish to the boat. Number two rod. I'm going with a bait caster, okay? Going with a bait caster. So those of you guys that know how to throw a bait caster, this one's for you. This is an ultra, again, universal rod, but typically a bait casting rod has a little bit more power than a, fit, a, a spinning rod, okay? So a little bit more backbone. You're gonna set the hook a little bit differently, plays the fish differently, but I'm going with a seven foot to a seven foot four inch medium heavy, medium heavy. What that allows you to do, it allows you to throw bigger baits, okay? Medium heavy. So this is your workhorse. This is your, I mean, realistically, you could throw top waters, you could throw crank baits, you could throw light buzz baits, you can do light flipping and pitching, you could do light Texas rigs, Carolina rigs, uh, jigs, I mean, basically, uh, chatter baits, spinner baits, you name it, a seven, two to seven, four medium heavy power rod, depending on your, your action, you can do a lot of things really, really well. So hands down, that is the most universal bait caster in the lineup. That medium heavy, it's just a, a workhorse, the ultimate workhorse that can do a lot of things. You can throw light swim baits, underspins. I mean, you could really throw probably 75% of the tackle shop on that rod right there. So that's my number two. Number three, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going back to finesse, but I'm going with a finessier uh, spinning rod. I'm going to go with a six foot 10 to a seven foot medium light rod. This is, you're going to be your finesse rod. This is going to be what you throw your Ned rigs on your light drop shots, uh, small hair jigs, spy baits, all of your finesse stuff. If you're on a fishery that, uh, it's a Highland reservoir and you're catching one and a half to two pound spotted bass out deep on little finesse jigs or actually finesse jigs would be more of the seven foot uh, medium. But uh, little drop shots, little hair jigs, little spy baits, that is going to be the rod for you. Again, that, I mean, that's an NRX plus that's up there in the price point, but in all of these categories in the video description, if you click the little three dots down in the video description, uh, I will link basically a, a budget combo, a middle of the line combo, and then a high end combo in each of these uh, combos or rods that I talk about. But having that six foot 10 to seven foot medium light, that is your ultimate finesse setup, okay? One thing I do want to tell you guys, especially you entry level or those, those guys that are just getting into it, the number one thing you can do to increase the sensitivity of your rod is put braid on your reel. You're gonna throw braid to a monofilament or a fluorocarbon leader, but that takes a middle of the pack rod and makes it as sensitive or more sensitive um, as sensitive as some of the higher end rods. So adding that, that no stretch braid just adds a ton of sensitivity. So that's one thing you can do if you're a guy that's throwing a, uh, an entry level or a low price budget rod, but you want to in increase that sensitivity, add some braided line and some fluorocarbon and you guys will feel a lot better.
All right, number four, I'm going with a six foot 10 to seven foot, seven foot two medium power rod. So a little bit lighter than that medium heavy, oh, sword fighting, medium heavy I talked about earlier. Now you're back in that same power as that seven foot medium spinning rod, I, uh, spinning rod that I opened with. But this is a bait caster. Again, you're gonna have more backbone with the bait caster, you know, more strength in the, the lower section of the rod uh, than you would with the spinning. For me personally, I like throwing the bait caster. This is what I'm throwing my uh, little heavier underspins, okay? I'm throwing jerk baits. I can throw blade baits. I can throw lipless crankbaits, lighter lipless crankbaits. I can throw finesse jigs. It's just uh, having that medium power. You can't throw the larger baits like you could with that medium heavy, but having that medium power, you can downsize. You can throw your straight fluorocarbon. If you're a guy that's fishing clearer water and you don't want to go braid, this is going to be the uh, rod power for you. If you want to throw your lighter finesse football jigs, your lighter Texas rigs, if you want to throw your lighter, you know, your 3.8s and your 4.3 sized swim baits, uh, you can get away throwing your jerk baits on that guy right there. That's a great power for, um, for jerk baits. Again, that's a very universal rod. Again, you can't throw as heavy as stuff as you could on that medium heavy, but my number four is going to be that 6'10 to seven foot, seven foot two medium power bait caster. Now, last but not least, thinking about those guys that want to do maybe some light flipping or pitching or light frogging, more power fishing, I'm going with the 7.4 to 7.6 uh, heavy, okay? 7.4, 7.6 heavy power rod. Now, light flipping, like I said, in the grass, light frogging, your 50, 65 pound braid, your smaller frogs. Uh, you wanna, wanna go to an extra heavy if, you're, if that's what you're looking for. But that heavy, seven, six heavy, seven, four, seven, seven, six heavy is an awesome uh, rod. That's a rod that you can throw your, start your, get your bigger swim baits on. You can throw your buzz baits, your whopper ploppers, straight bait, braid. Now you can really power fish uh, and really get those fish out of the cover. If you need to flip jigs into wood, flooded brush piles, that sort of stuff, that's gonna be the rod for you. Um, it's just uh, more, having that heavy power allows you to throw more of the bigger, more power fishing reaction style baits. Now I understand doing this video, there's so many different rods and powers and sizes and all that stuff. And you might find yourself on a fishery where you, <clears throat> You do more of that that heavy style fishing. You're in and around grass, and you might not need a 610 medium light for that ultra finesse. I did grab one other rod that I wanted you guys to think about. That's going to be a 7.4, 72 to 76 crankbait rod. Okay, medium power, medium heavy power, depending on the different crankbaits you're going to throw. This action is going to be moderate, okay? So it's not going to be very tippy. It's going to bend all the way down. You guys see that? All the way down basically to the handle, right? That's going to be your treble hook bait. This is going to be the bait, the rod that you throw your, your square bills on and your deep cranks on. If you're going with deeper cranks, you're going to go with that medium heavy uh, to heavy. If you're going with more square bills, you're going to go with that medium power rod. But guys, I wanted to add some kind of crankbait rod in there for you. Again, if you're throwing jerk baits that have treble hooks, you can go with that 610 medium. If you're throwing those crank, throwing those cranks, go with that cranking rod. But that is my top five rods that every bass fisherman should have, or at least have played with or tried. If you, if you find yourself walking into that tackle shop, you're looking at that the the wall of rods. Hopefully, this video will at least help you start in the right direction. You know, hopefully you found some techniques that you like. Maybe it's a drop shot. Maybe it's throwing a frog somewhere in between. In between, This will help you get set and headed in the right direction to get those right rods off of the wall or order them online. But guys, fishing rods, there's a thousand of them out there. And uh, 
There's a lot of science behind it. As you grow as an angler, you're gonna get more and more technique specific rods. But for now, if you're a guy, maybe you're a co-angler at fishing tournaments and you just wanna bring five rods, this will do it for you. This will cover almost all of your scenarios that you might come across unless you're doing something extreme. Maybe you're punching mats with an ounce and a half or two ounce tungsten weight, or you're throwing a big glide bait or a big Huddleston swim bait. You might need a specific swim bait rod or a punch rod, but if you're looking for those universal rods, these guys right here, those lengths, those powers, those actions will catch you a ton of fish. Guys, as always, we appreciate the support. I will link all of those rods down below in the com uh, in the uh, in the video description. If you have any questions, please leave, please leave those in the comment section. We'll try to help you out and get to those as soon as possible. But uh, we appreciate the support. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys on the next video.